Hey guys, I am so excited to announce that I made a pre-built house in Bloxburg for you to buy. It is a modern one-story house with a basement and there are two bedrooms and two bathrooms with so much room to grow. It also, oh wait, I need to be dancing. Okay, not this one. Um, shuff, no, I don't know why I did that. Dreamer, right? <laughs> so I'm recording this before the update comes out. So I don't know if the house is going to be exactly like this, how I built it, but that's that's something that we're gonna figure out at the end of this video. Maybe I'm exposing a little bit, but this is the original version, exactly how I built it. And I am so excited to show you. Okay, here she is. I think it looks so nice and modern. I don't do one story houses like this at all. It was definitely a mission. These pillars are clipping. For whatever reason, the plain thick pillars don't work well on the basement floor. Hopefully they fix that. Anyways, <laughs> already something wrong with it one story houses are so hard for me trying to make them look not just flat and clunky is really hard especially when you're doing a modern house which is just flat we did each have parameters that we had to follow so they told us what they wanted us to build and mine was obviously a one-story house with a basement i was able to use advanced placing they wanted me to make a house that was multi-level but since a lot of you guys buy the basement game pass before you buy the multi-floor since it is a lot cheaper this house is for you there are a lot of modern elements in this that i really like i love this entryway structure i think it was a great addition to the front of the house we have some modern landscaping not a whole lot but there's so much room to add your own landscaping if you want more like i said your girl had a budget why do i want to call this an atrium what is an atrium um okay i guess you can consider this an atrium from the inside you can see the plants and stuff i thought this was super fun and once again you can add so many more plants you can do decal plants if you want by the way i actually was not allowed to use any decals in this build if i did i had to leave them as they were and if you guys know me that was a struggle there were so many places where i wanted to use my own decals which obviously you can do if this house is on your plot by all means do your thing but yeah here is the front of the house i feel like this is gonna be such a long tour i'm talking so much okay i'm gonna I'm gonna go inside now. I'm kinda scared. Here is what she looks like. There's just a lounge couch and then a normal entryway table. Super cute, really nice and spacious. And then as you can see, here are the stairs going down to the basement. We have the dining room, kitchen, and living room over here. So let's go over there first. This is the dining table that I picked. This thing I may have used once in my entire life, but like I said, I couldn't use decals, so sculptures it is. <laughs> Everything is colored very modern, obviously, because this is a very modern modern house but you can always go in and change any colors that you want this is your house now you can add so much more decor when i was making this i kind of pictured i would make it like a model home so there's a little bit of decor a little bit of staging but at the same time when you're touring it when you're looking at it you can see where you can make things your own you know you can switch out furniture change up the design a little bit do whatever you want but it's kind of just it's a starter for you and i think that's super fun you could do that with any of these builds that the other creators made the world is is your oyster anyways this is the living room can you hear that oh my god anyways once again a little sculpture moment instead of using decals right over here we have a patio it's kind of like a little sunroom because there's so many windows but it is open to the backyard there's a glass roof i really like this this is just a super cute little sitting area you could decorate this more with so many plants and pillows and textures and colors and things but once again we had a budget <laughs> this is the backyard i really like how it came out it's small secluded a little bit of landscaping but overall it just feels really really modern and a little bit luxurious this fireplace lounge area is so cozy it leads right to the front of the house and then of course we have a couple of sun chairs and a really nice wool here's a quick little overview of what the back of the house looks like now if we head on back inside through this door is the main bedroom these bedrooms have a lot of room to personalize like i said it's kind of just like a model home over here we do have our first decal which if i were you i would be filling this in immediately after buying this this wall is kind of a statement back here with all of the 
pillars. And yeah, that is the master bedroom. If you head on over here, we have the first of two bathrooms. Once again, very modern and minimalistic. This is also a door that goes to the backyard, by the way, but these are the same doors on either side. So both rooms have access. Now we can head on downstairs. This is the basement. First of all, love this view from the stairs. There's the, the atrium, as we discovered. Right off to the left of the stairs is the game room kind of area. You can really turn this into anything you want, but the go-to is definitely a really nice couch. You can come down here and watch movies because there's no window lights blocking. You can play video games. You can put some instruments down here. Honestly, whatever you want. Across the way here is your home gym. Everything in this build is level zero. So all of these equipments are things that you get immediately upon joining the game. But obviously, as you up your athletic skill, you can add some more things. Same with the plants out here. Everything is level zero. Increase your gardening and you can add some more fun plants. Over here to the right is the garage. It's equipped with pretty much everything that you need for a garage. You have some storage here with all of the, the necessities. <laughs> And then you have your washer and dryer. Of course, though, this is a basement, which means that you can extend the downstairs here any direction, except for back, I think, because the pool should be, yeah, right here. But that means that you can add a laundry room. You can add another bedroom. You can do so many things to make this downstairs just absolutely amazing and massive. In here, we have the guest bedroom. You can see it kind of has a blue neon theme going on. And then it also has its own bathroom. I think it's the same same size as the other bathroom. It just has a little bit of different textures going on. And yeah, that is it for the guest bedroom. And I think the entire house. I really like how this came out. I feel like it looks and feels expensive. And like I said, and I'll keep saying, there's so much room for you guys to add your own touch. I would so do that if I were you. If you guys want to see how I would decorate this house if I had no budget, maybe I can give you guys some more ideas for modern things, how to elevate this house once you get more money. Um, if you look down at my money, I actually can't afford anything else. Here's how these doors look, by the way. I think they're so fun. The pivoting ones, I think. They're one of the most expensive doors in the game, so you've got some luxury here. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this build. If you do buy it, let me know and update me along the way if you make any changes to it. I'm so curious to see how you guys will make this your own. Or if you don't change it at all and you like it the way it is, you can also let me know. Like I said, as I've made this, the update has not come out yet, so I'm so excited to play it and make a video about it and tour all the rest of the builds. I'm also curious to see what my build is going to look like. I'm so curious to see if they changed anything. I'm really nervous about this, but I do really hope that you guys liked it. I spent a really long time on it. This was actually the third version of this house that I made. Let me actually show you guys real quick. I was not going to show you, but I think I still have the plot saved. Okay, yeah, there's one at the bottom called Secret House. So this is one of the versions of it. This was either the first or the second and don't get me wrong i do like it this is obviously needing some work it does have some potential however there are multiple things about it that just were not gonna work this is fun i like this it's like a custom looking deck we have the same structure motif thing going on here what does the back look like it's been a really long time since i've made this so oh yeah everything was kind of a work in progress here but you can see glaringly obvious there are a lot of issues with doing the roof like this the roof all pretty much had to be the exact same color otherwise it would do this weird clipping thing so it just it wasn't working you can see there's clipping literally everywhere i like the layout it was very big however i do think that this was about to be a very expensive build how much is this worth right now this is worth eighty nine thousand dollars. i think this might have been why i stopped my budget was originally one hundred thousand dollars, so clearly this wasn't gonna work but yeah here's me exposing myself there is one more version of the house let's see if i still have it saved it's um i moved the garage over to this side i played around with this structure thing again i put palm trees in this build even though they're not allowed to have palm trees <laughs> that was my mistake you can see it's getting a little bit closer to the final version but it's not quite there yet i like the layout of this one a lot there's the lounge over here the dining table is here kitchen and then living room but once again this house is worth ninety nine thousand dollars, and there's not a basement yet <laughs> things were really not 
not working out for me here. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see another video where I talk about the building process a little bit, how I made it, just all the things, let me know. This is being posted on update day, but I cannot wait to actually play the update. The next video you will see. We have to go look at all the tours. We have to look at my final house. Does it look the same? I'm really excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this house. Leave your comments. I would love to hear what you guys think of it. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye.